Well, basically, it's a mess all over. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy <laughs> yes, weather has been the theme, not mm -hmm. just locally, but all across the nation, really all across the world. We need a break. Yes. <laughs> For sure. Work on that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on it because it's not happening <laughs> anytime soon, likely. We do have more waves of rain coming. Yes, we're getting a break now, but keep the rain gear, the rain boots, the rain jackets, the ponchos, the umbrellas close by because we've got several more rounds and we could pick up another several inches of rain. Unfortunately, over the next several days, we need a break. We've had so much flooding in recent months and recent weeks, but we just are not getting a break from this messy, unsettled weather pattern. Of course, if you were out and about this morning, you know we got another big dose of heavy rain, especially off to the north and west of Houston. Three to four inches of rain fell this morning in between Navasota and Brenham. That led to some flood advisories. Less than an inch for the Houston area, but one to one and a half inches up towards Huntsville and northwestern parts of Montgomery County. So we had that rain because a cold front dropped in and that front will linger through the weekend. So that means more waves of rain, even more widespread rain expected for much of next week. That will mean slightly cooler temperatures, but of course, if you have outdoor plans, it is going to be on the wet and messy side at times. So enjoy the sunshine we have out there right now. We already got our rain for today. There could be a stray shower pop up, but I think most of you remain dry for this evening. 89 degrees right now. Thanks to that morning rain. We're not sitting closer to 100. That heat index still in the middle 90s, but at least we are out of heat advisory criteria. So that is some good news. Here is that front. Like I said, it's going to camp out for a few days and it will help to trigger more showers and storms. So for that reason, we still are in that marginal low risk for some street flooding, not for the entire area tomorrow, but from Houston to Liberty to Galveston down to Lake Jackson. So watch out for a few of those side streets, those feeder roads that could quickly flood once we get those heavy downpours tomorrow afternoon. It's mainly going to be hit or miss scattered action with that rain and storm activity for Friday and Saturday. But notice Sunday, Monday and Tuesday, we're talking about more widespread rain, so you will need to plan on more of a washout early next week. Tomorrow, though, I think we will get enough breaks from the rain where we will touch the 90 degree mark briefly before those showers and storms break out. But I think after tomorrow, it's likely high temps in the 80s from Saturday all the way through much of next week. So an unsettled pattern, not quite as hot, but we've got a chance for heavy downpours that could impact your pool plans and other plans outside basically every single day.